Welcome to the channel. It's about grilling season, and we got to get this grill cleaned up. It is nasty. If you like me, you love your pellet grill, but cleaning it, not so much. <laughs> I'm going to take some of this crud cutter, and uh, I'm just going to spray it all real good and just let it soak for a little bit. Yeah, you just spray that sucker down real good. Just let it sit for a while. This is the Pit Boss Laredo 1000 Platinum. I really like this grill. I had the Pit Boss Austin XL uh, before this, and I liked it too. The only negative about this grill is it, it seems like it takes forever to heat up. The Austin XL grill, it would heat up a lot faster than this one. I don't know why. Okay, after you've sprayed it with some degreaser, I'm going to get you a rag and just get all the big stuff off. <laughs> This grill hasn't been clean in months. It is nasty. Right up here is where it gets the most grease. Now, once you have all the big pieces of grease and most of it off, I take some of this Dawn Platinum and mix a pretty good bit of it with some water and just spray that and let that sit for about 10 minutes. And just take you another rag and just go over it again really good. Hey, before anybody says, don't spray your grill with water. Hey, these things are made to be outside, okay? Hey, if your grill can't handle a little water on it, get yourself another grill. Once you have that done, get you a clean rag and try to get all the soap off of it. This one's really dirty. It already looks a lot better. This area right here is probably going to be your worst area. It's where all your smoke comes out. You may have to spray this section again and let it soak to get all the grease off of it. Just let that soak a few more minutes and we'll clean it again. Now it's time for the fun part. I usually take a wire brush and I'll clean all my grates real good. Now you definitely want some gloves for this next part. Just take your grates out. I don't know if you can see all this. This one's bad. All right, next we want to remove our tray here. This one has a lever that opens your vent, so we got to disconnect that first. This one's way over too for cleaning. Ooh. All right, look at all that. Woo! Nasty. I have this scraper, and I usually just scrape it all off. It's very important to clean your pellet grill. I'm a little behind this year, but I just seem to always put this off for some reason. Now you can clean these perfect if you want to, but I'm just getting all everything I can get off. My other pellet grill, I cooked on it so much I burnt this in half. There was nothing left of it. Once you have your pans cleaned out, just sit them aside and go grab your shop back. All right, check out inside this one. Look at all this. This is why it's important to clean it out. Because this, all these, all your pellets, all your ash will build up in here. You won't get a good cook on it. Grab your shot back and get everything you can out of there. Okay, once you have your inside vacuum, this model has a, a tray down here for your ashes. So we want to pull that out. Yeah, wait. They're kind of hard to get out. This one has a little tray that collects your ashes. We want to get that cleaned out good. We have that cleaned up. Put that back in. Now we just got to put it all back together. This vent. All right. Get it back together and just put your grates back in. Well, there we go. It's as clean as it's going to get. I'm ready to fire it up tonight and cook us some steaks on it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, please. I'll catch you next time.